a clear and not agnostic speech because you already communicate your version of this contest to them. I look forward to the contest. Now it's the time for our Mr. Division Governor, Glenn de Guzman. Glenn is currently the Application System Engineer for Wells Fargo Technology and Operation Group. Glenn joined Stagecoach Speakers Dotcom in Annapolis, our club, at Wells Fargo Toastmaster Club in May 2009 to improve his leadership skills. In Toastmasters year 2000, no, 2010 to 2011, he serves as the VP of Education for our club. Last year, he serves as the Area 45 Governor. And this year, he is our Metro Division Governor. As the Metro Division Governor, he is responsible for hosting the Division Contest in downtown Minneapolis. Glenn will share his vision for the upcoming Metro Division Fall Speech Contest on October 10th. Please welcome Glenn de Guzman with sharing my vision for the Metro Division Fall Contest. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster. The Metro Division Contest is probably the biggest event that I ever organized in my life. Mr. Toastmaster and fellow Toastmasters, two weeks ago and last week we held our own club contest. The winner of that contest, the winners of the, those contests will advance to Anandram's Area 45 contest. And the winner of the contest tonight will advance to the Metro Division contest. So we will have seven finalists for the Metro Division contest. I have three visions for the Metro Division contest. Namely, the contest is going to be fair. This will serve as an opportunity for the Toastmasters to learn new skills. And lastly, this will serve as an opportunity for the Toastmasters to network with each other. We're holding a contest so it's going to be fair. Because last year, in the fall conference in Thunder Bay, there was a minor controversy. The, the judge, the chief judge, uh, stepped inside the room and he called all the judges and they stepped outside. They deliberated for one hour. One of the judges protested the contestant who, who they think plagiarized their tall tale speech during the contest. And it took them two hours before they arrived on the resolution. As much as possible, I want the contest to be fair. I recruited judges from outside of Metro Division, those who are not members of, of clubs in downtown Minneapolis. And I recruited uh, as much as possible the most experienced members available, and I'm sending them emails individually. I also recruited experienced members to fill the roles of Toastmaster, Chief Judge, Ballot Counters, Timers, and Sergeants at Arms. All six of the area governors already took the roles, and I also recruited area governors from other divisions to fill those roles. So we have a very experienced group for the Metro Division Contest, and I'm already looking forward to, to a very organized and fair contest. The person that I recruit the, who volunteered to be a Toastmaster in the Metro Division contest is the Area 44 Governor Sandy Robarge. She had experience being a contest Toastmaster in the club level. She also had experience at the area level, but she, but she didn't, she doesn't have experience yet at the division level. So this is going to be a learning experience for her to speak in front of 50 people. Which leads to my second point. This is an opportunity for the Toastmasters to learn new skills. Although, they, although most of the area governors have organized their own contests at their level, this is the first time that they're doing those roles in the division level. It's also going to be a learning experience for the audience. Because when I attended the Metro Division contest two years ago, I learned a lot just by watching the, the contestants. When they do their, 
with how they use the stage and how they use vocal variety. I learned a lot and I sometimes incorporate them into my own speech. It's also a learning experience for the contestants. Some of the contestants, they're <coughs> new to Toastmasters. Some of them are perennial winners and they're there almost every year. But some of the contestants, they're new and they're probably speaking for the first time in front of 50 people. All those contestants who are there, they come from different areas. Like one person tonight will advance to the division contest, then one person from Area 41 and Area 42. So it will be a diverse group of contestants. Most of them do not know each other. And they will end up talking to each other. So which leads to my third point that this is an opportunity to network with other Toastmasters. I invited heavily, I invited a lot of people outside our division to, to be in that contest. And I already invited several division governors already, RSPP, some of the past district governors, and I'm already excited. I'm also inviting some Toastmasters, uh, some people who are not Toastmasters. And I, I'm, I might end up introducing them to some of the dignitaries. At the end of the contest, usually the, the contestants are interviewed and you can actually talk to the contestants. One of the advice that I give to other Toastmasters is congratulate the winner. That's a good way to open up people and have a networking. I remember that two years ago when I was invited into the Southern Division, because when I attended Owatona two years ago, I became friends with some of the Southern Division area governors, and they invited me to become a judge in, the, in Owatona. And they invited me to become a judge because I'm not from that area. And after that, I became friends with other area governors and they started inviting me in all the other areas. And that's how my network became bigger. And after that, I also became in, got invited to, to contest in other divisions. And right now, I became very busy because we got invited in Western Division and Northern Division. So, so right now, I invite everybody here to attend the Metro Division Contest. It's a great opportunity because your network might become bigger and you will learn new things. Thank you. Thank you.